So let me get this straight. Travis Kelsey is in the middle of his NFL season, yet he prioritized flying to Argentina to support his girlfriend's concert. And you're upset about a guy that is saying that he doesn't have time to even text you back? Girl, drop him. If he wanted to, he would. What? So let me... You know, like I always say, women live in such a fantasy world. First of all, you are not Taylor Swift. None of these other women are Taylor Swift. You bo your boyfriends, your husband, or whatever it is, is not Travis Kelsey or Beyonce or Jay-Z, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Stop trying to live your life like you're connected to some damn celebrity. You're talking about old texting and he didn't text and he's not interested to so leave him alone. Y'all put way too much emphasis on texting. Texting is very impersonal. Pick up the phone. Maybe the guy doesn't like to text. Maybe he wants to see you. Maybe he wants to actually touch you instead of this constant texting and emojis and all of this weird stuff all day long to prove that you're valid. To prove that you're the one, a guy needs to text you and say all these weird things. Hi, honey. How was your day? Have a good lunch. Have a good night. Sleep well and all this. And you know what happens when men do that? You don't respect them. He starts looking weak to you. He looks like a simp because he's not on his purpose. If a guy is too busy to text you back, that means he's got something going on. But if a guy is sitting there texting you all day and worrying about, oh my God, you didn't text me back and all that, you know that he's weak. You don't respect him as a woman. This is just another example of women always trying to get men to a point to where they appear weak so the women can be in control. And all of this celebrity admiration and all that, you know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. Stop comparing yourself to those people. You're not them. They don't know you and they don't care about you. Period. The best thing you can do is just be honest. If you need a text, you tell a guy, look, it would make me feel great if you could text me once a day. It would make me feel great if you could text me before bed. Then maybe a guy will say, okay, honey, I can do that for you because I know it's something that you absolutely need. But a lot of times what women will do is they will sit there and just assume that men know exactly what they want. Oh, he should know that I want to text. He should know that he should call me back in five minutes. He should know all these things. Women rarely communicate what they actually want, and they do the exact opposite of what they say they want. So it's a constant big confusion ball for a lot of men. They don't know when to go left or when to go right because women play a lot of games. My advice to a guy when it comes to texting, stay off of texting as much as you can. Wait till you see the woman in person. Have an actual physical conversation with her because texting is impersonal. Things can get taken the wrong way. And if somebody needs you to constantly text them to validate them, they're childish. They're immature. You don't need to deal with that. If they can't understand that as a guy, you're busy, you're working, you're on your purpose, you're doing your thing, and you can't just automatically text someone back, it might be a couple hours or something like that, then you need to leave them alone. Because if it's in reverse and this woman is working and she's doing her thing and you text her and she doesn't respond to you, and you come with that, oh, why don't you text me? Why didn't you text me back? Stop overreacting. Oh, it's not that serious. What is wrong with you? You see what I'm saying? There's a double standard. You don't need to be texting everybody all damn day. And if somebody needs for you to be doing that to them, you have to understand that they're extremely needy, extremely uh, selfish, and immature, and insecure. That's, that's really what it is. But again, stop comparing yourself to celebrities. Last time I checked, you're not Taylor Swift.